Hey guys, Drudder here. It's the 13th of February, 2013, and I just found five cents on the ground. That is a 1978 Canadian penny, and why did I say five cents? Well, continue watching to find out. Here's a Canadian penny from a few generations ago. This is from 1903, one cent from Canada, a medallion made of pretty much pure copper, and this was one one hundredth of a dollar for a very long time in Canada. Now, here's a coin like the one I found while I was out for a walk, minted around the time I was born. This is a nearly pure copper disc, but it, as you can see it's much smaller, and over time pennies got smaller as they did in Rome. The coins were debased and clipped. Now here's a penny from 2012. Notice that it's even smaller not a smaller around, but thinner, and the corners are rounded. Um, as you can see, it's quite a bit thinner. It weighs only about two-thirds of what this previous penny weighed. And not only that, but it's just painted copper. It's not real copper. It's steel on the inside. So over time, the government and the banks have taken the actual money out of our currency, and all we're left with is valueless steel disks. And the reason this penny is being discontinued in Canada is because of inflation. Has the price of copper gone up so much that we can't make anything out of it anymore? No. The price of copper is remaining relatively stable, even over decades or hundreds of years. The value of a chunk of copper is relatively the same. It buys you the same as it ever did. So the reason this penny is being discontinued is not because the copper is too expensive, but because the face value of this coin, which is one cent, has been eroded to the point where it's not worth anything anymore. You could make this out of out of nothing, and a penny is still not worth anything. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to do what the Royal Canadian Mint and the Bank of Canada are doing with pennies. And I am going to kill this penny. Click on the link below to hear Endless Mountains say We're fucked right now. When I was out earlier, I stopped by the post office to mail off some seeds. By the way, if you haven't seen my previous video um, on tomato seeds and you're interested in tomato seeds, please check that out. If you're not, then it's one you can completely skip because that's all it's about is tomato seeds. But uh, I mailed out quite a few tomato seeds to uh, subscribers and friends of mine today. And while I was at the post office, I picked up this notice from the Government of Canada. Thank you very much, Government of Canada. Important notice. Did you know it costs 1.6 cents to make a single penny? And I've heard that up to as much as 2 cents before as well. Um, this is one reason why the Government of Canada is phasing out the penny. They don't mention anything about inflation there, but um, why would they? They claim that there's zero inflation in Canada over the past five years, and anyone who buys anything knows that that's not true. The value of our currency is debasing very rapidly. The loss of the penny in Canada is a sign of inflation and it will be a cause of further inflation as our currency becomes devalued to the point where it has absolutely no intrinsic value and um, it buys less and less and less over time. But anyhow, it goes on to say the government of Canada will stop distributing pennies and that is absolutely true. I'll insert a clip that I took while I was at the bank. Uh, to buy them, you mean? Well, just, or, yeah, like, like we would have before they were discontinued. No, there's no way we, we, we're not giving pennies out after February 4th. Yeah, you, you can't buy them anymore. I don't know if any banks are still giving them out. I know where the banks are. Yeah, like after February 4th, we're, we're not giving any out. Unfortunately, we can't even order them anymore. 
There's just no more. <laughs> yeah, there's just, there's just <laughs> no way we can give them to these people. As you heard, there's absolutely no pennies available at banks. Um, now I've tried multiple stores as well, asking if I can get pennies off them, and I can't get pennies. I can't receive pennies in my change. I can no longer get pennies from the bank. Where else can you get pennies? Does anyone know? <laughs> That's it. So if you're looking for pennies now in Canada, you have to go to a coin store and buy each penny separately for its numismatic price, whatever that happens to be. There is no other way to get pennies in Canada unless you can find someone else privately who has them and trade or buy them off of them. Um, I didn't realize how fast this would happen. I was quite shocked the other day when I went out and I realized, you know, they had been telling us for months the penny was going to be going away. And yes, I have been um, storing as many as I could and uh, I've never spent another penny. I did a video about almost a year ago now, last April, saying never spend another Canadian penny and uh, I've been sticking to that. Um, so I do have a, a stack of pennies, a pretty darn good stack of Canadian pennies, but I was shocked when it actually happened. The date came February 4th and there was not a penny to be found in Canada. That's it. It's gone. So if you're in a country that still has any kind of monetary metal in your currency and it hasn't been taken away yet, this is a lesson for you. It'll be taken away and it'll happen very quickly. I was someone who was paying very close attention to this matter and it almost got by me and it even did manage to surprise me how quickly it happened. Um, it's gone. There are no more pennies for Canadians. We can't get them. We can't get a single one. So, um, you know, while I was out for my walk I found a penny and I said, that is a five cent penny. Why did I say it was a five cent penny? Well, I'll show you why I said that. I did a video recently on calculating melt value of any particular um, piece of metal. If you want to go and look at that, I'll link to it down below. But the melt value could be uh, referred to as V sub M. That's melt value. And how can we use this in a greater um, understanding of value? Well, the junk value of any coin, which I can call VJ, equals VM, that's the melt value, plus the value added to that metal by its um, premium. The premium includes the cost of production, which it, for pennies we know is at least 1.6 cents, up to as much as 2 cents. The melt value of a penny, well this one in particular is um, above 2 cents, it's closer to 2.5 cents. A quick post-production note, the actual value of that penny um, was closer to three cents rather than two cents in terms of its melt value. So, um, well, we'll just put two cents just to be conservative, but there, um, a lot of Canadian pennies are worth quite a bit more than two cents, closer to two and a half cents, depending on the years, and I will put a chart down below, uh, or a link to a chart down below, where you can go and look those up. But anyhow, the junk value which is the value of a coin that doesn't have numismatic value. This isn't a particular date or it isn't a very um, high grade of coin. It's in fairly bad shape. So this is just um, a junk value coin, this particular coin. Its junk value would be determined as about 2 plus 1.6 cents. And of course there's more to the premium value than just the cost of production. The cost of production is just part of this cost. There's also uh, transportation cost, there's also um, profit, uh, like a margin built in for whoever's distributing or selling these coins. So, um, you know, you could say that the value, the junk value of a Canadian coin is about four cents, um, but I'm rounding that off to about five cents. I wouldn't be letting go of any Canadian copper pennies, true copper pennies, um, for less than five cents myself. So that's why I said when I saw it on the ground and picked it up that it was a five cent penny and that is absolutely true. The junk value of a Canadian copper penny is roughly five cents. And you will see in coin shops um, junk copper bins or junk copper boxes where there will be you know bags or boxes of copper pennies and I bet you those will be labeled five cents or more, perhaps something like ten for a dollar or something like that. Because it's just the same as when silver went out of circulation and the 
going rate for a silver dollar was one dollar, but at some point it became worth you know maybe a dollar twenty five or a dollar fifty, and people started to take them out of circulation very quickly, and you will see you know very few of these copper pennies ever again because it's not in circulation anymore and because banks will not give the coins of course they'll accept them but where do they go? They go to the mint to be melted down and returned back to the government coffers um, so you know you won't see these anymore in your change you won't see them anymore from banks and you can't get your hands on pennies so if you are in say the states where you can get pennies um, and you can get nickels and your nickels are pure copper and nickel um, that's just money in your pocket and if you don't take advantage of that now you'll be very surprised when it's yanked out from under your feet and it disappears and you have no more chance to get that because it's happened very quickly in Canada and that should be a lesson to everybody else anyhow I am going to do a video on this um, using this formula the junk value calculation in a even um, broader formula which is going to be the calculation of any coins value so I'll do a separate video on that coming up but um, I just wanted to mention that I'm going to be doing um, a little bit more about copper in the next little while I will be looking a little bit at some copper charts um, I will be doing a little bit of um, looking at cleaning copper coins um, junk only of course you wouldn't clean a numismatic coin ever um, I'll be looking at copper's uh, fundamentals and um, copper's value as a store of intrinsic value and uh, a lot more than that so I'm going to leave it there for today, but um, I'm going to throw out a few copper, um, just junk copper coins, and uh, a few more here, just to give you a look. I think copper is a useful, attractive, and interesting metal, and I think it needs to be had a little bit more uh, attention paid to it. So that's what I'll be doing over the next little while. Of course, I'll be doing my regular silver updates as well, and that's it for today, so talk to you guys soon.